My life story is about all the experiences, especially the travel experiences that have helped me overcome all my fears. Isn't that what life's all about? So the accident was definitely a pinnacle point in my life. I was only 18, 19, turning 19 years old in a foreign country, away from family, friends, had knew no one there and was involved in a very serious car accident, lucky to even be alive. So I think my want for living a healthy life and prescribing that to others stems from that um, and my gratitude for life and wanting to, and to put that forward stems from that. I was hit by a drunk driver um, and was sort of folded up in a car and pretty much broke every bone in my body but mostly and the most severe was, was my back and my neck and at, at that time I was told I mean dropping in and out of consciousness and dealing with all being in Africa in, in that type of environment as well people stealing things from me my whole body was destroyed but not only that my whole identity was taken from me as well and I woke up and was told that you know I was paralyzed and I would never move again, which was a pretty shocking state, but that was never gonna be my story. And, and I was determined to change that story and that's um, what's inspired me to do all of this. And so I really started looking into you know, the nervous system, the nutrition, the mindset, other aspects as well as the movement. I started studying rehabilitation, I studied nutrition, and, I, and all my studies stemmed from that point so that I rehabilitated myself to, to where I am today. So for me, health and wellness has been something I've been passionate about since I was six years old. I told my mum I wanted to be a PE teacher. And although I'm not a PE teacher, or I could teach PE, although I've never really varied off that path, I was a professional athlete as a child and loved the physical movement, but became really aware of the more mindset stuff and the nutritional stuff as I got older and I had a very severe accident and realized there was more to health than just moving. Um, the environment you live in, the people you surround yourself with, what you put in your body every day, how you think, how your mind works. And through a, a very serious accident, it inspired me to work more on other aspects, not just the physical aspect of wellness, which is, is what led me to the retreat space and wanting to work on a holistic approach to movement, nutrition, exercise, wellness in general. So I'm a qualified exercise physiologist with different specialties in, in that realm. I'm also a nutritionist. Um, and I majored in psychology in that. And I have also a degree in spa and retreat management. So Ninja Warrior has really been amazing for me on many levels. The idea of entering Ninja Warrior in the first place was to inspire other people. Um, and it was, it was totally that. I went on the show and from people hearing my story and seeing what I did on the show, people reached out to me and it enabled me to help other people that have gone through similar things to I've gone through. But it's also been a major coping mechanism in my life for the past few years. It's kind of metaphorical when you overcome something physically that you think you can't, um, which obviously I did with the accident as well. Subconsciously how that affects other areas of your life. And I find Ninja Warrior, the community of Ninja Warrior, the support you get from the community, but the obstacles themselves, very metaphorical for different aspects in life. And so they've really, really helped me. And then by helping me, I'm helping others um, on that journey as well. I definitely have an energy and zest for life. Um, I've had a few close encounters in my time. So my gratitude for life is huge. Um, I like to see the good in everything. Uh, very, very dedicated, never give up on anything determined and yeah I really always want to help people be the best version of themselves. Health is super super important to me and I want everyone else to realize how important it is for them.